Today marks the two year anniversary of the channel on YouTube and I'm celebrating by adding a couple of extra units to my Blood Angels army and also looking at how the army is progressing overall. So kick back, relax and unwind as together we enter episode 6 of the Blood Angels army journey. A big thank you to Emperor for sponsoring this ongoing painting series and a little bit more on them later. I've spoken in previous videos about how I like my armies to have their own theme and the Blood Angels, while well, they're cut off from resupply and resources from the Imperium of Man and they're doing their best to survive in sustained combat. This means they're painted in that grim dark style and as for model selection, well I have a bias towards fast paced units like jump pack infantry and also a love of elite dreadnoughts. To flesh this out a little, this week I'm going to add more carnage strapped into jump packs. I've picked out a chaplain with jump pack who we are going to modify a little from what you see here in order to create our unique story and I've found it worthwhile that if I'm going to paint a single small character model like this one, it can be entertaining and efficient to simultaneously paint up a small squad to join him. Jump pack intercessors. Well, kind of, because I'm going to use this kit as the building block for me to be able to create my own Death Company Marines with jump packs that are going to pack a serious punch. <laughs> I expect that over the next couple of years that the Blood Angels will receive some new and improved kits to make these models and also some scaled up and pretty looking Blood Angels specific dreadnoughts, but one of my goals throughout these videos is to give you the confidence of creating your own in the interim that can still look amazing. The Blood Angels Chaplain can equip himself with a few different weapon options, but looking here on the sprue, he only comes with the Crozius and the Pistol. Competitively, for your games, that might be the preferable loadout, but for my story, I think it would be far more intimidating to have him charging towards his foe with two close combat options, the Crozius and a Power Fist. How wild is that? He wants to hit you so bad that he brought two options with him to do it. The idea of getting gonked on the head and then a fraction of a second later being punched so hard that you tear a rift into the warp is beautiful. I test fit and glue the model together, however here is an example of sub-assembly making your life easier. The helmet I want to be bone colour, but the body black, so let's separate them for now so that they can have contrasting primers, and then the wing jump pack can stay off as well, making it a lot easier to paint. Over to the death company, how can we convert them? I have a growing collection of custom parts that can be used to proxy in, and you'll find them available on site selling 3D STLs. If you don't have a 3D printer, no stress, neither did I, and I'll add links below on some of the great people in our hobby that offer a printing service. Shoulder pads, pistols, and power fists. In a game where usually only one soldier in a squad can equip themselves with a fun, exciting weapon, the Death Company is so grand because I can equip each and every one of them with a game-changing weapon. But I hear you now already. Mike, why not Thunder Hammers? Well, ha, I have just exposed you for being new to the channel. So firstly, welcome. And secondly, I've done Thunder Hammers in this video right here, which you can check out after this one. Hammers will always have a home on this channel. Remember, make sure you are using super glue for any resin pieces. I'm creating a variety of poses with the overall look being that they are leaning forward to signify they are charging head first into combat. The jump packs and the one helmet free head are kept separate again for ease of painting and a pro move is that if your bases are going to include sand and basing items like that, add it all on now and that way it's easily primed without causing any issues later on. Time to paint them, but uh, this painting setup and camera position looks a little off. You're good, you're onto me. Yep, these models were also painted during my holiday escape with the family and get a load of how relaxed I look. If you are after an in-depth painting guide which captures step by step which colour and technique I'm using, you are in luck because the first Death Company painting video captures all of that for you and more. Whilst you watch me paint up these half dozen models, I'd love to tell you a little about today's sponsor, Emperor. 
again, thank you so much to Emperor for sending me this box of jump pack intercessors and the chaplain. Having another flavorful leader within the army and his very own squad to lead into combat is a great way to continue the army build. Emperor are an online store that are known for their low prices on GW products and an amazing loyalty point system. The hobby is already expensive, but our viewers from down under will know that there's a whole bunch of additional costs that get slapped on top of the product, but Emperor possesses two amazing attributes to assist us. They have discounted prices on all of the GW range, so we can get them below regular retail price, and their loyalty point system means that every so often I get to drop an extra box of minis into my cart just to treat myself. Now Emperor are an amazing option for our Australian viewers, but for everyone else in the world, don't stress, you won't miss out. I've included a whole bunch of links below in the video description that will take you to different sites that will send minis out to you at a discounted price that also supports this channel. Now, how are our models coming along? I've gone with a white colored power fist for the chaplain as I figured that would help him stand out amongst the squad. His wings are iconic, but I'm painting him quite dark. And size wise, he is no more imposing in build than the Death Company Marines themselves, so the bright white addition should help him pop out from the table. I'm keen to show you how the models have turned out, and after the reveal, we can have a look at how my army has progressed to date, and also discuss some of the options on what to add next. So without further delay, I'd like to introduce you to our Jump Pack Chaplain, and also another squad of Death Company Marines. happy with how the models have turned out and also to score a couple of days off work to be able to paint them. It's quite rare, so I'm chuffed. Now, I'd love your recommendation on what to name the chaplain. And as always, you get bonus points if you tell me below the theory behind why you chose that name. I'll shuffle the set around a little now so I can show you what my army looks like to date. Here we go. Holy smokes. I know, I know it's not a huge amount of models, but I'm still really proud of myself. I'm juggling all the other work for the channel, but keeping some momentum here. So who do we have? There's Captain Sirius Corden, who was thrust into promotion early upon the fall of the company's leader. Sirius carved his own storm shield to commemorate his fallen angels. He leads a squad of five Death Company Marines armed with thunder hammers and an unquenchable thirst to bonk. Up the back was the first squad that I painted, the three Plasma Inceptors. None of the units I build and paint will be exactly matching the official colour schemes and unit doctrine, and that's on purpose. I like the look, but also, they are isolated from the Imperium and fending for themselves. They are starting to create their own unique customs. Speaking of making the best of what you have available, our Apothecary, or Sanguinary Priest here, finds his equipment falling into disrepair. His intelligence and mission focus have led him to the discovery of an important artifact that he genuinely believes that can turn the tide of this war. He is charged with ensuring its analysis and extraction. And never is there a more appropriate setting for the argument of being able to serve even upon death in this sarcophagus of the mighty Furioso Dreadnought. Built from the new Brutalis kit with some extra add-ons, he is the first of what will hopefully be a handful of stomping dispensers of death. And there's our chaplain and new squad of Death Company with Power Fists. And remember, all of the models that have been shown here also feature in their own episode within this painting series. 
I'll add some links below in the video description so that you can check out your favourite, and not only will they show you painting techniques for them, but we'll also explore the official Games Workshop lore, as well as the background stories that I've created for them. Which segues us beautifully into what is next for the army. What's next? Well, you tell me. Tell me what it is that you think can add to the theme of my army and that you'd like to see me paint. I was thinking of a video where I paint up two more dreadnoughts for the Blood Angels could be a huge hit. Or maybe even I lean into the fast paced side of it and paint up a squad of Outriders. But you might have something completely different. Have a look down at the comments and if you see one that captures your fancy, click a like on that so I know. And if you don't see it there, well you add it as a comment and then I'll know. And these people hovering around me are the amazing channel patrons who financially support these videos. So thank you so much. To give you an idea of how amazing they are, well, if I was forced into a position between saving them, Rachel, or Harvey Dent, I'd pick Rachel every time. But I mean, after that, I'd definitely pick Dent. Yeah, Gotham needs him. But what I'm trying to say is, they'd be missed. I'll level with you, that's not my best analogy. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave it a like because this helps tell YouTube that they should recommend it to other viewers within our community. Come check out our Patreon and our hilarious Discord server. And other than that, by all means, crack open the playlist to look at each of the Blood Angels Painting Journey videos. Then, and only then, will I see you on our next video. Thank you so much.